of something I've been thinking a lot about over the past couple of days. People are spending way too much time playing games and next to no time appreciating the beautiful, vast outsideness. Listen, man, I get it. I like to play Call of Duty and shoot some zombies down too. However, instead of killing a zombie, have you ever thought about milking a cow? Welcome to Uncle Panko's terrible little farm. Your eccentric Uncle Panko has invited you to spend the summer at his farm. Explore the surrounding forest and farmland. Take care of the livestock and follow your uncle's weird rules to have a great summer vacation. Oh, no. Dang, we about to rebel, though? It's been two minutes, and already the temperature in this room... So what is going on guys, this is Ryan here, and today I wanted to go ahead and spend my day on a farm, but not an ordinary one, okay? Are we seeing this image right here? Nothing about this speaks horror, so you know we have to go digging and find out what's going on here. Hey Uncle Panko, just come clean. How many corpses are buried right underneath that barn, huh? Yep. Yep, yeah. oh yeah, I'm looking at this. Right, guys, this lives and breathes horror. Are we seeing this together? I just want to try and broaden my horizons, play these games I typically miss out on. Like, this one just seems so weird and bizarre. I have to see how this could potentially be a horror. Hey, hold up. We're on that bus. That's a bumpy bus that we see. Can you imagine the passengers in that thing? My dear nephew, greeting Stephen. It is I, your Uncle Panko. I hope you are well. Your parents tell me that you are soon to graduate. A fine achievement indeed, Quentin. It feels like just yesterday you could barely walk and talk and now you're almost fully grown. How time flies! Looking back, it seems that I haven't actually seen you in person since then and for that I do apologize. I'm just so busy at the farm nowadays, which brings me to the point of this letter. I would like to invite you to spend the summer here with me. It would be nice to have some help and we could make up for all your lost time. Make up for all my lost time, Uncle Pango, by making me dig up the manure. If you would like to accept my offer, Jeremy, all you have to do is take the bus to the farthest stop at the outskirts of the next town over. Once you get there, just follow the dirt path cutting through the woods. My farm is just around the corner. Hope to see you soon. Uncle Panko. my guess is we took that very bus to that end stop. We probably hop off that sucker. We want to go ahead and help out with the farm. Let's do this. Hey, here we are. Let me just. Bus is already straight up gone. Yo, uh, Uncle Panko, this place kind of quiet. You got Wi-Fi around here, though. I'm, I'm just like looking. I guess the farm is that way, guys. But you know, I've had second thoughts, so I'm actually gonna head home now. So give me a sec. Oh, so uh, yeah, okay, invisible wall. I can't go home. Uncle Panko has literally got this place rigged. All right, Uncle Panko. Let's see what's going on here. Everything seems absolutely fine. We got that beautiful sky color. You see the sun setting in the distance. I want to get in before it gets too cold for my feet. So let's follow the dirt trail. And let's go, let's go. Look at this. I'm drifting around these corners. Uncle Panko, you see this? Hey, this must be the crib. Hey, bud, how's it going? Hold on, me old chum. Take a little browse around the shack. What we working with here, okay? I want to see. I'm surveying the lands, guys. I'm doing some UAV before we even get going with this. Dude, what are you growing here? Purple crops? What we got? Purple cabbage up in this sucker? Hold on. How you doing that? Ah. Uh, all right, I ain't about to question out redness underneath that. Look, guys, I'm sure it's fine. Maybe it's some kind of reinforced thing that Uncle Panko's got going here. Michael, my boy, I'm glad that you decided to visit. Unfortunately, something unexpected came up, and I'll be gone for the first few days of your stay. Would you mind doing some work around the farm until I return? <sighs> oh, my God. I know it's a lot to ask and should be all by yourself, but if anyone can handle it, you can, Robert. I've left a few more instructions around the house to help you, and I'll take on the majority of the work again once I get back. The key to the front door is located under the little goblin on the porch. Got a goblin? And your room is on the second floor. Make yourself at home. All right. Goblin, he says. Hold up. Thanks for moving, goblin. Give me that key. Hey, we're going, we're going, we're going. So open the door. Let's see this, Rick. Close that door. He's got that piano. Oh, hold up. Uncle Panko. Uncle Loaded. Look at this. Dude's got the whole bar still set up. Like, how many guests do you expect in Panko? You want me to start inviting my friends over or something? Hey, I'm just saying, this crib, this is kind of comfy, guys. Uh, confused about the times, though. We see that one right there. And then if we follow up on the wall... Which one's right? Which one's wrong? You know what I'm saying? All right, second floor, he said that way. Hey, here's our toilet situation. Close that door. Uh, excuse me. Hello? Why can't I close the door? I need to go for the door. Good little crib. I'm liking this so far. What's the problem here, you know? Horror game. All right, yeah, sure thing. Sure. Hey, hold up. That door's off limits. This one? The freaks are locking behind those doors, you know? He leaves the guitar. Can't strum the guitar, bro. All right, so we're in our bedroom. What are we trying to do back here, you know? What are we trying to... Hold on, I can break through the wall. Uh, my head is through the wall. All right, what's the plan then? What are we trying to do? Ooh, we can see outside. Let's take a look around this place. So this is one area here. He left a sickle down on the floor. You see that? He left the note on the wall here. Lenny. What's with all these different names? He called me Jeremy before, and now he's calling me Lenny. Like, hold up. I see you found the barn. The cows can be quite rowdy, especially on Sundays, Thursdays, and the second Wednesday of every other month. So have you heard any 
odd sounds coming from inside. Pay them no mind. I freed them and locked the door before I left, so they shouldn't bother you today, tomorrow. However, I would like you to let them out to graze. The key to the barn door is hanging on the entry of the house. Please leave it unlocked until the sun comes up tomorrow. All right, I see you, man. I see you. What are we doing today, then? We do nothing? Wait. Hold up. Dearest nephew, apologies, but I forgot to mention something important. Life out in the wilderness can be a bit rougher than life in the suburbs, especially at night. Not all the time, but enough that some cautions are warranted. So before the sun fully sets each day, I need you to go inside of the house and remain there until the sun rises. Today specifically, you'll need to make sure to shut and lock the back and front doors. In that order, back then front before it going to bed as well. Hey, Mr. Panko, you trying to freak me out? About to take this blade with me to bed and sleep with it, you know what I'm saying? Okay, that sounds weird. Wait, back and front door. It was the back door, and then we locked the front door if I'm correct. Am I right? I'm, I'm confused. I closed that so I want to I want to lock this door though. I lock, guys, I lock the back. I lock the front door, bro. I thought we had to take the... We're dead. We are literally about to die. I've already messed up the most important fact. We're dead, guys. Um, I don't like the fact that I misinterpreted seeing the key right there. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, what the f- Whoa, whoa, hey, hey. What the freak? Hey, Hola. the goblin's here. What are you doing, Rodney? Get my name right. It seems you may have made a mistake during your nightly routine. That's all right. Nobody's perfect. Unfortunately, that means that one of them got inside the house. This is fixable, but you need to follow these instructions exactly as I've written them. Take the red candle from your bedside drawer and light it. Then walk with it calmly to the downstairs bathroom and lock yourself in. There's a pillow and blanket in the cabinet underneath the sink. Hold up. I have to now sleep in the bathroom. So take the red candle, light it, and walk very slowly to the bathroom. Hey guys, we got a problem right now. I need that red candle though. Give me that red candle, all right? Do, I think, is that illuminated? That don't look light though. I am mildly concerned, I ain't gonna lie. Walk calmly downstairs into the bathroom to our left. I'm bumping down these stairs. Um, He said walk calmly down. Don't think about it, don't think about it. We're good, we're good. What the freak? No. Don't think about it. Go in the bathroom. How do I close the freak? Guys, he won't close it. Yo, yo. Ooh, holy crap, guys. Why is that kind of tense though? Take the sleeping goods and then we sleep in the bathtub. We're good, right? Hey, what the, hey, 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 panko. What the heck is happening in this farm? I feel like we need more explanations behind this before I get on that bus today. Let's check that back door. Okay, okay, I see what we're working. We'll close that again. Um, so what's the plan today? What are we trying to do? Why don't I snatch the key when I can already open all the doors? Wait, can I use this? Nope. No, wait, what? Yo, come on right now. Can I not use this key anywhere? Like, I'm trying to think, like, hold up. That door opens, what about if I open the barn up? Hey, oh, you guys are cute though. How you doing? Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, yo, guys, chill, man. All right, you guys are gonna do your own thing. What the freak, what is that? Uh, is that an actual body though? You know what I'm trying to say? Hold up, hold up. Uncle Panko, more like Uncle Murder though. Hey, he bust out. Nah, listen, we give you the free roaming space. Uh, hey, excuse me. You wanna- That coward's got some speed! No, 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 come back here right now, trying to cosplay Sonic. Don't run. You pesky- Dude, that's it, that's it. I gotta try and like, go around him, you know, sheepdog style. So, what we do, is we do it like this. You get that freak back- Plans are bust, guys. Please, can you go back in? Hello? Wait. Yo- What the freak?! Yo, what the heck?! Hey, hey! It's like, is the cow scared of it too? Yo, follow me, buddy. Follow me, buddy. He's following me. Oh, oh, oh. Yo. In the woods like that. We see this. We see this. Oh my, hold up. What the heck? This is actually kind of creepy. The noise is resonating from the barn, maybe? Yay. Good, good cow. What the? F that bag with the smiley face is still there. What about nothing the other side? All right. We're going to have to talk about this. Mogi, if you're reading this, you're probably doing well. Hold up a second. I got an idea. Besides caring for the livestock, I'd like you to harvest some of my crops today. The purple stuff to be specific. Grab the sickle next to the gate and get started whenever you're ready. Make sure to keep an eye on your surroundings while you're harvesting. The field is small. It's more like a patch. But some little rascals still tend to hide in there when the crops are at their tallest. Don't worry too much about it. Just stay on your toes and you'll be fine. What about if all of these different names coming from Panko? Like, he keeps calling me Jeremy. He's called me every name under the sun. What about if those are past people who have actually worked at this farm? He's doing the same thing over and over again. 
man. Body number one. I ain't gonna lie, uncle. Kind of saucy right now. Give me that shit. If he comes near me, I'm taking his neck down. So, we just do some harvesting. Nice and fun. This is kind of fun. Okay, we do this, we do this, we do this. Music. Okay, it's just cut to silence, guys. Um, he said... Pull on me. Hey, what are you doing, huh? You want me to harvest your neck? Yo, what? What the freak is going on? What is that? Some of these rascals still live here? What the freak? Dude, the sound is emanating from what sounds like the gnome. What? My game? I thought my game just broke. What is going on? I'm suing the developer. Take the key. What is happening? So what, I open the door again? Did I die? I must have gotten killed. New strat, go up to it. Do I scare it off kind of like that? Like, I'm gonna try and keep doing that maybe. Like, run up to it, go up to it, go up to it. So you don't let it fully emerge. That's how we maybe beat these things. So keep our eyes peeled. We are onto you now. We get you, we get you. Bro, where are you, where are you? I hear you. Is he over there? I see you, I see you, I see you. Back down, back down, back down. As long as we're quick like this. Yep, this is it, this is how we win. Where are you gonna hide now, huh? You can't, you can't, yeah? Okay, that last one. We don't even question though. How are we growing these purple crops? I asked at the very beginning, and still I got no answer. Bro, why are you hiding back there, huh? What are you doing? I'll harvest your forehead. Why is there no music? There's just no... What the freak is going on? Who's he gonna call me now? Who is Christopher? <laughs> Thank you again for doing all of this while I'm gone. I promise you won't have to spend your whole summer here. Just don't work around the farm. Why don't you herd the cows back into the barn and take a... Re Shut the freak up, dude. Ring the chimes next to the barn door three times exactly, and they'll take it up from there. One. Chime that again. Ah, uh, here you go. Guys, get back in there. Get back in there. There's your three chimes. Can we do it? We can't do it more than three times. Yeah, get the freak out of here, man. I'm done with you. Why is this? Hey, hang on. Hold on. What are you doing? What's with this gnome character? Always in my grill. I, why don't I trust him? I feel like he's going to be the bad guy. Who am I now, Frederick? Rise and shine. Today, you're going to beat my chickens. Or rather, my chicken's eggs. They should have laid a good amount of them by now, and I'd like you to go out to the coop and gather them. Oh, and one more thing. Chickens make easy prey for some of the local wildlife, and their eggs are even easier. So stay on guard and don't let anything sneak what is with this? Most of- Shut the- I ain't having fun here, man. I've been nearly killed by two of your weird demonic entities. Where's the third one at, huh? Yeah, give me that. How you doing, huh? How you doing? He's always watching me. Always. So, you open this. Oh, kind of cute. Take the eggs. Yo, I'm- Yo, what the freak? What is that? Do you see its proportions? What's with it? Dude, you got SCPs on your farm. You got SCPs on your farm, my friend. Get him, get him. Go. Woo! Shut you back away. That chicken was so cute. What's he done? It's like demonic. <laughs> why, why are you so close? How are you trying to take credit? My boy, thank you again for helping out around the farm. I know it might not be exactly fun, especially by yourself, but I hope you might be able to. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, you've done everything important for now. Feel free to spend the rest of the day as you wish. Just head to bed whenever you get tired. I'm sure I didn't forget anything, Uncle Panko. What do you mean you didn't forget anything, huh? Uncle Panko? Yeah, I'm like Uncle Bullcrap. What's in these two doors? What's in that door? What's in that door, huh? So, we can do anything we want. I can't- I can't even take the key, though. You see that? I could probably watch TV. No, I can't watch TV. Dude, I can do anything I want. And I can't do anything because I can't even go out of this place. I can't even open a cupboard anymore. Do anything I want, huh? I can do anything I want, huh? Take that, you moron. Wow, that was a fun evening doing nothing but sitting there in silence. Then we wake up again. Ooh. The- okay, these night times are oddly creepy. You can- You can hear that resonating sound, can't you? That usually means that something house is nearby. Like an enemy, an entity of some kind. Locked. Both those are locked up, though. What's happening tonight? Hold up, hold up. I don't trust this at all. I'm going downstairs, though. I'm going downstairs. I can't open that. Hey, uh... Where's the goblin at? Did we see these dusters? We see those dusters. What's that- what's that all about? What are you dusting? <gasps> Oh my god, the door just- I'm stuck! I'm stuck! Nephew, I think I forgot to mention something I've never forgotten before. The goblin that you took the house key from when you first arrived, there's a non-zero chance that it might have been replaced by a gnome. And if you took the key from it, you will have effectively invited it into the house to stay. I don't own any gnomes, but one of my neighbors does, and it doesn't like to share. I won't sugarcoat it. You're in serious trouble. By the time you finish reading this note, I reckon you'll have one minute to find the gnome in the house and give it back before its owner gets inside to take it. Check everywhere you can think of around corners, hiding cabinets, uh, everywhere. Okay, when you find it, open the door and throw it outside. Just throw it out. All right, guys, we have to go. That- Oh, it's infected our house. It's in our house. It's in our house. 
Oh, uh, we're in trouble. We're in a lot of trouble. In the fridge. It's not in the fridge. This could uh, this could spell bad. This could spell real bad. If we don't find that gnome, if we do not find that gnome. Guys, I'm tapping everywhere with the buttons. Okay, so we've checked all of that. Oh, it's been about 20 seconds right now. I ain't gonna lie. This door. I'm a gnome. Got you. Got you. Got you. Got you. Get the freaking gnome breaking in my house. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Open that door. Yeah. is with your neighbors my guy so we found the gnome and i wait i heard knock it's up here that door that door those two doors are still locked up still can't gain any access Who the, who's knocking at this hour huh Hello. there's my favorite nephew how great to finally see you after all this time you're quite a bit shorter than i remembered i'm sorry i was gone for so long i hope you weren't too bored here all by yourself hmm Notes, chores, weird creatures from the fields in the forest? Why, I'm certain I only sent you one letter and left one note on the front before you arrived. You must have had a nightmare of some kind, and I don't blame you. It can be a little scary out here sometimes, especially on your own. Well, you don't have to worry about that anymore. How about I make us breakfast, and then I'll give you a grand tour of the property. I hope you're ready for a summer of fun. Why you like that? Ending two. Yes! Summer of fun. Ooh, okay. This is a multi-part ending then, so I'm going back in and that's it. A Uncle Panko. You look like Uncle Ghost now. Like. So my guess is that maybe the ending is going to be perhaps the difference between finding the gnome and not finding the gnome. So I'll fly through to the end and I'll kind of wrap back in once we're there, guys. Let's see how scary this is about to be. I never did this last time. Go down the kitchen, grab a plastic bag in the fridge, take it outside, exit in the house through the back door and place it in front of the porch stairs. Then walk calmly backwards into the house. Do not turn around or look away from any of them until you're inside with the... What? Hello. We see him there. Is that? We. T I mean, we take it. So, what do we? What do we place it? Dude, place it backwards back into the house. And it's as simple as that. What the freak was that? I'm leaving, bro. I'm leaving. I'm done with that. Oh, toilet key. Toilet key? Question mark. So the gnome is always in the same spot too, guys. That door open. That door. Yo, what's this key for? Yeah, take your scummy gnome. I don't want this anymore. Oh, I wake up with the key, though. I wake up with the key. So now we just spam on everything. That door don't open. What the fuck? Boiler? Mapping style, we're here, and they got a writing credit. Hey, good for you guys. Uh, Uncle Pango. Sweet Jesus! That's a carbon monoxide leak. You must have been breathing it in for days. We need to get you out of here. Time to go to the hospital! <laughs> Wait, so was the entire game a hallucination? Like, the whole entire thing? So, ending two, man, that kind of sucks. Like, so we're about to get, like, geared up and ready to go, but there's a carbon monoxide leak on the farm. Bro, neither know what's about to happen. You know what I'm trying to say? So anyone is like the good ending. I guess it explains all the monsters we were seeing whilst we was out and around. And it also, I guess, saves the Panko guy. You know what I'm trying to say? Very interesting little game. Like I was having all sorts of theories whilst I was playing through that second time. Like maybe Panko is already dead. He's been killed by the monsters. And they're the ones planting those notes, trying to get us to do these things to bait us into situations where we die. Nah, bro, carbon monoxide meat and needs to get changed up, okay? But there we go, guys. There's Uncle Panko's terror. <laughs> we don't get games like this very often nowadays, like a short and sweet horror adventure disguised in this really like artsy cutesy style. I really like games like this, man. This was a lot of fun. If you guys happen to want to check out Uncle Panko's terrible little farm yourselves, you can check that link down below. But man, I think my work is done here, okay? I'm going to the hospital. If you guys did enjoy this episode though, why not drop me that like rating? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here? So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Of course, I hope you did enjoy. And I will, of course, see you on the next one.